So, Pirate Gold sent us their poker set, aptly named Bundle of Loot, with all these super nice metal coins in a wooden case. And while this is a poker set, who says you can't use these coins for board gaming? So for those of you out there who love to bling out your tabletop sessions with totally extra accessories, aka you all in every Kickstarter for those deluxe components, how do these Pirate Gold coins stack up? Haha, <laughs> wow, that's so funny! Well, for starters, they aren't actually gold, duh, but their website does say they're made of metal alloys. They cost about a dollar per coin and are pretty goddamn heavy. Seriously, it's actually pretty tiring to constantly be lifting this case up repeatedly. And it's actually fairly uncomfortable for me to hold the case with one hand if I need to open a door or something. The case is like 10 pounds, it doesn't have good grips like a dumbbell, so don't underestimate it. But that should tell you something about these coins, because since they're poker chip sized and metal, metal, they are thick. It's super satisfying to just hold these things individually because they're so weighty. You want loud clinks? These pirate gold chips deliver that in spades. See, look, it's a bunch of spades. What a funny joke. Please laugh right now. Laugh right now! Anyways, these coin chips come in four different colors. You got black, brown, gray, yellow. Or actually, it's gunmetal, copper, silver, and gold. Embellishments. Ooh. The gunmetal and copper ones have a hole in the metal, which also adds a whole new level to the fidget toy capabilities of these coins. Because, like, already when using them, it's really fun to constantly play around with them, spin them, clink them. And now you're telling me I can absentmindedly stick my finger through these things? Absolutely incredible. So we've used these coins in board games and even played some Texas Hold'em with them. And yeah, they're definitely really nice coins that are fun to mess around with while making any board game that uses coins and counters way more satisfying. Unfortunately, we don't have any pirate games to use this on, which would have been perfect thematically. Because the detailing on these coins really do sell you on the idea of finding these things inside a treasure chest on some deserted island. Regardless, I personally like these coins a lot, and I'll definitely be using them a ton for anything that has more generic coins. Obviously, for talking games like Rising Sun, which already have super thematic coins, Pirate Gold isn't a good match. And I'm also not going to use them for something like Oath, because we already got the game's official metal coins. This isn't even mentioning how Pirate Gold chips are straight up too big for both of those games and don't fit into their designated coin slots. But something like who? Dude, these coins actually add a lot to the physical experience. Oh, and I'm definitely going to be using these for 5th edition, especially since we got sent these sacks. That's a little loud. It's <laughs> pretty loud. Especially since we got sent these sacks I can give to my players. However, I want to highlight the fact that Pirate Gold sent us these for free, because now let's get into the cost. We were given the bundle of loot, which is a whopping 329 bucks. Granted, this isn't just 300 metal chips, because it also comes with a bunch of sacks, plus the wooden case and playing cards, but that's still a super heavy price point. You can buy like five medium weight games with that, or one big campaign game. And after doing some quick research on the subject of board gamers blinging out their sessions by having some metal coins lying around, two of the most popular options I see being recommended include this generic 50-piece coin set you can get on Etsy for like 27 bucks, as well as just straight up the deluxe coin upgrade for Scythe, which is 80 coins for like 30 bucks and usually less on Amazon. Makes sense to me, these are pretty reasonable prices for a good range of coin denominations that also look generic enough to use in all sorts of games. Who says you need to use Scythe coins only for Scythe? Though if you are the type of person who loves having specific matching coin sets for each of your games, obviously this ain't for you. And that train of thought led to me discovering this BGG thread about someone's metal coin compulsion where this wonderful individual catalogs the different metal coins they use for so many of their board games. So yeah, ultimately this is all just for aesthetics and a more tangible feel to your games. Whether or not you're down to pay extra for that is up to you. If you want my opinion on this, if I'm being real, I don't think I'd personally ever buy the all-in bundle of loot because I'm not willing to shout out that much for cosmetics. At most, I'd buy a smaller set of coins in a bag for much cheaper, and even then, kind of a tough sell because I'm a bigger fan of coins with numbers on them, as well as coins with different sides in case you need to call heads or tails. On the other hand, I also love giant coins, which is the primary reason why I don't just go out and buy a set of metal coins, since they're usually pretty small, but that's also why they're cheaper. I'm basically stuck in this limbo of I'm willing to cough up the cash for the pricing of smaller metal coins, but what I actually want are the huge ones, which I can never justify buying because they're usually way more expensive. But despite the fact that I'd never buy this, that doesn't mean I don't think it's awesome we have these now. So 
that's a conundrum solved for me. I'm definitely not someone who wants to get separate metal coin sets for every game, and I'm very much vibing with having a case of coins not attached to any specific game that I can just pull out and use whenever. That's it for some quick thoughts on these pirate gold poker chips. Hopefully you can see where I'm coming from. But also feel free to not use my stance as a comparison point because this is paid content and unlike us, you guys actually gotta buy this if you want it. Though I do got some Black Friday 20% off sale going on right now, so if you're interested, their website is pirategoldpoker.com and I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Please consider dropping a like and if you'd like to support us, consider subscribing to us at patreon.com slash shelfside or buy some of our merchandise at shelfside.co. See ya.